Okay, thank you for asking this important question. I think the, uh, this is not something new, it has always been. Um, we see the world uh, from a totally uh, different perspective and we expect for people uh, to want or, uh, or need things that it comes from the powerful side that if it, uh, I take the case of Afghanistan, um, it is decided for us that what should the people of Afghanistan need, how the people of Afghanistan uh, should conduct themselves. It is not that way. It is um, now the whole world is really a big village. I mean, we used to talk about it now. In practice, we see that uh, whatever happens anywhere in the world, it's impossible not to affect the other one. So let's listen to each other. And if we, um, if we claim that we are going to help such and such a country or such and such people, we have to be prepared to uh, expect for them or want for them exactly what we want for ourselves. Then most of the obstacles will go away. The biggest um, security challenge today in the world is that we are divided very badly and uh, we, should, we should see each other that if it is environmental uh, hazards, it is for all of us. If it is health hazards, hazard, it is for all of us. COVID came just a um, few years ago. It doesn't have bon uh, boundaries that, well, I go to this country, I don't go to that country. It went for all of us. Security and lack of security is exactly the same thing. If I underestimate uh, something going on in a country like Afghanistan, it will happen in New York. So let's act together, let's solve it together. My hope is that this new order, which uh, officially will be coming soon, but uh, unofficially it is felt in every country, uh, that we have to act together. We have to um, go forward together. We have to be united. We have to see a problem anywhere in the world as a, as a global problem. Again, I will give the, um, uh, the um, example of a disease. Whether it starts in China, whether it starts in Afghanistan or in Europe, wherever it started, everyone was relaxed about it because they saw it, the problem of that very country. This is not the case. When we see a hazard, a problem, whether it is health or environment or even physical aggression, we all need to get united to stop it uh, before it happens. This is the job of the UN. If we have UN, I mean, if someone says that we should not have a UN, okay, we, let's not have a UN, but we do have a UN. And it is supposed to be the home, uh, a mutual home for the whole world. And now it's quite a few years that women and uh, youth have a very prominent role uh, in the UN, they are among decision makers, they are, um, they are in very high level posts, and uh, they are heard, uh, youth members of the UN and all that, which is quite, it is a few decades that it's a tradition, then let's take them seriously. Then let's it not be for the show. If UN is not good enough, this is not a good enough excuse for me, UN has to be perfect because the UN is the one that could tell to the poor and the rich and the west or east that what is the world order that we have to, uh, we have to carry on and we have to stick to it.